Right then, welcome back. Today, well today we're doing race 10, the final race of the World Supervised League, and we are at, we're at the Nürburgring on the GP circuit. Now, what bike to use? Hmm, made a bit of a cluster with the Ducati last time, didn't I? So, how about German track? So, we go for a German bike, suited German? Sounds German, doesn't it? Might be Dutch. Could be Belgian. Don't know. But we're going to go with that. The suitor. Why? Because it's a two stroke. I think it's German and we're on a German track, so that's what we'll do. And we've skipped qualifying. We've done all that. We've got that out of the way. So, Nurburgring GP circuit. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now then, this. This track. Always struggle to get heat in the front tyre. So, rather than running a hard, which I've done for the rest of the races, I think what I'm gonna do, ooh, ooh, that might be a bit aggressive. We'll go with it. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a hard rear and a medium front in the vein hope they get a bit of temperature in that front tyre. It might not work, it might, I don't know. It is a voyage of discovery. 10 laps at the Nürburgring GP circuit. Mm, I think the AI are going to be mega fast. And as per normal, we will start at the back of the grid. So, anti wheelie 2, engine braking 2, traction 1. We'll see how we get on. I'm a bit worried. I'm a bit worried about the front tyre. But we'll see. Oh. A pair of two strokes into the first bend. Go on, dive up the inside. I'm late on the brakes. I'm wide. I'll return the favour. I hate this corner. Way too tight. Oh, that's very wide. Don't, don't. Very aggressive from the Chinese. Very aggressive. The big question is, can, oh, that was close, can we pull away? Gotta get a gap. Gotta get a gap. Yes, we can. Break before the service road. Try not to get on the dirt. It's a fast track to uh, going straight to the back of the pack. Well, what's what? Nearly three seconds already, eh? Oh no, penalty. Too busy looking at the gap. How has that happened? They've just been in it, left, right, and centre. Hmm. Hmm. I couldn't get half a second for Love No Money in Phillip Island yet here. We're just leaving them for dead. And it's not because I'm riding particularly well. That front tyre's getting a hard time as well. Ah, right. So we have a German in second now, so let's see what happens. No, they bend it as well. Six and a half seconds. What? Two laps. At this rate, we're looking at a 30 second lead. And a 10 lap race? No way. 
happening. Well, it might, but... I'm not... I'm just shocked. I'm not complaining. I'm quite happy to have a, sec a seven second lead after the horrendous races we've had recently, but I'm just a bit confused. That's why I don't get on the dirt. So they don't bin it, and I pull, uh, pull a bit of time on them, not much. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we got it stopped just... Just, just, just. I'm too busy looking at the gap. Like, try to work out what they're doing or where I'm getting the time from. And I've lost half a second, so... Yeah, 1.3 slower on this lap. Right, ignore the gap. Head down. Concentrate on the lines. The side choice was good. We're spot on, aren't we? 68% wear on both. Although the front is a bit warm. I did run it soft, though. Did run it very soft. So. Oh, hey, that is a scary corner. Guess I could go to engine braking three to try and save it a bit. No, yeah, uh, I'll see. I'll get a lead first, and then we'll see. Way too deep. It's the camber that causes the trouble. The camber changes, forcing the bike out wide, and the bumps. Bumps equal wheelies, camber equals run. Too early on the brakes then, although I am nearly a tenth up. Oh, no, 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 not what I wanted to do. Well, that's most of the lead out of the window. Concentrate, come on. Oh, Two horse race, I think. Me and the German. Third and fourth are miles behind. That's hot, that's hot. Oh, we've just got it stopped. I'm going to try engine brake in three. The bike's not moving about too much on the brake, so up to three. See if we can move a bit of that heat into the back tyre. That's better. It's just when you let the throttle off, you lose the throttle on engine braking three, it can have a bit of a, 
A bit of an adverse reaction sometimes. Pulling the bike back, unsettling it. But with this, it doesn't seem too bad. Oh, stay off there. Yeah, it's better on three, much better. It goes where I want, rather than where it wants. Although what happens is I get giddy. Ooh! Start pushing, start making mistakes. Yes, she's dialed in a bit now. One sixty through there. That is a big cojones corner. That. Third of a second, half a second. Half a second, that'll do. And somehow, moving the engine braking up to three, which moves then more energy into the back tyre. We're using the front more than the rear, in, which is a bit weird, but hey ho. Faster corner entry, possibly. Yeah, she just gets a bit of a slide on now, just as you get to sort of peak brake pressure, she's just starting to step out, which is not too... Uh, nine, 18 and a half seconds? What? Where has that come from? It'll be over 30 seconds. That's a that's an endurance race lead. That what? No. Oh, that was close. I don't... I'm, I'm genuinely gobsmacked. I'm absolutely gobsmacked at the lead. We haven't... We haven't had a race in all the ten where the AI have been like this. Shit, for the want of a better word, but... Hmm... Oh well, not a lot I can do about it, just keep going quicker. Madness, absolute madness. Truth be told, I was nervous. I was nervous about using this bike on this circuit. 
I've, I've used the suitor a few times and it's always gone all right. It's always gone all right, but I've not really put... I'm going to lap somebody in a minute. What? Yeah, I've never really put a massive amount of time and effort into it. So, yeah, I was nervous. He's off again. It's suitor. It's the other suitor. Or one of the other suitors, anyway. I'm assuming there's more than one. But yeah, I just... After Phillip Island and other races, especially the one in Portimao, it was like... Uh, this is going to be hard because it's a it's a technical track. It's bumpy, all the different camber changes, and with the aggressive, like mega aggressive AI, I was wasn't looking forward to it. And then we've had remembrance on the 11th of November, and I took a couple of days like away from Xbox and that. We were doing stuff with some bobs at work, and it's always a it's always a very sort of somber time for for people in the military remembrance that time of year so yeah just didn't really feel like doing it and then today's Saturday and it's Rossi's last race mm. just for shits and giggles add the days together the day it was as in the 14th the 11th 21 add them together have a look at what number you get hmm very good some would call it fate I would call it good planning but anyway yeah I just I wasn't really looking forward. Oh no, don't get off. I wasn't really looking forward to it. And we've ended up with a 34 and a bit second lead, eight laps in, and we're laughing people. Wow. Okay. Tyres all right? Yeah, tyres are gonna last, aren't they? Loads of tyre left. So, yeah, what I thought was going to be a really, really difficult race. It's turned into a bit of a cakewalk. What else have I been up to then? We've got a lap and a, a lap and a half. Well, the MT09, the 20. Oh, every time I start talking on this corner, we're running wide. Oh, we're off. Every time, change of direction. So much for the traction control. Uh, 2021 MT09 is done. The setup is done. I'm happy with it. Um, it felt slow after doing the big kind of 1,000cc bike. It's a very nice bike to use, handles well, not too much power. So if the big bikes are a bit much, then the MT-09 should, uh, should suit you and you give it a bit of a go. Um, then I looked at doing a Panigale V4. I've had loads of requests, so thank you. Keep me busy for a couple of weeks. Um, looked at doing a Panigale V4. Couldn't decide whether to do the V4 or the V4R so I thought I'll do both um, the V4 is done one of the races at Kanto was unbelievable the bike it is a pain in the arse in the wet but the bike sliding out of corners the the TV style replay is unreal it's oh my good lord I mean I said I was after that that sliding about and moving around and everything else but oh what a what a what a replay that is so I'll get that uploaded at some point 
and we'll have a look. Um, I'll crack on with a V4R today. Uh, the v 4 is not, mm, it's not a great bike. It's very, very twitchy. Every little click makes a difference. It destroys tires. Oh my good Lord, does it destroy tires. So yeah, I'll get that. I'll get the MCOR9 out at some point, either this weekend. Um, well, probably not. It's Remembrance Sunday, innit? Probably won't do a video tomorrow, Remembrance Sunday, just just out of mark of respect. Just, I don't feel comfortable doing it, so it'll probably be Monday or Tuesday next week, but I'll get them out and I'll, I'll keep banging out the replays. Anything that's entertaining. Uh, that one, at, like I say, the Ducati at Canto. Holy shit. What a great replay that is. But yeah, um, there's plenty to do. I know we're going to move on to the endurance races next after this. Not that I want to detract from the fact that this is the last lap of event number 10. And we've basically, we're basically taken the piss out of them. Bikes help, quite good. Once we went to engine braking three, not too bad. Traction control is on one, so the rear tyre is just starting to lose a bit of heat. But look at the absolute carnage up here. Oh, don't do. I knew it. As soon as I saw him on the outside, distract me. Oh, well, it's done. It's done, it's done, it's done. We can cruise to the line and not worry about it. Done. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, table, cheers and draws. It's finished. And not only is it finished, it's finished in emphatic style with a huge, what, 30, 30 second lead. Get that right up you. Yeah, they were slow. They were really, really slow. And yes, I am killing time because yes, I am making a note of the overall time and the lap time for future reference for when I do setups. It's done. It's done, it's done, it's done. So, 10 out of 10. I've unlocked a new title. I've also got an achievement, Superbikes Champion, 1.31% apparently of people unlock that. Hmm, interesting. So we'll see where that goes. And we get a prize as well, don't we? Do we get the tambourine? Oh, we get some credits. Does anyone ever watch these? I'm not sure. I know I don't. Are we going to skip it? Yeah, we're going to skip it, aren't we? Yeah, we'll skip it. Thank you. Congratulations. Now that you're number one, prove to everyone who's to game, get back in racing World League and complete all career modes. Done it, mate. You've received a reward of... One, two, three, four, five, six... Ten million credits. Use them. Well, I've got everything already. Thank you. Uh, Riders around the world. Yeah, okay. Not really much of a muchness, but there we go. There we go. That's what we wanted. The fastest bike on the game. Tamburini T12 or T16 or T1000 or whatever she is so yeah T12 Massimo thank you very much and it's done it's done all 10 done thank you thank you for watching thank you for staying with me thank you for listening to me ramble I'm gonna leave it probably about a week before we dive into the endurance racers just i want to get some setups done i'm also spending a bit of time on horizon 5 i want to i'm deciding whether whether or not to to do a bit of stuff on that but everyone's doing it aren't they so i don't know we'll see i didn't really get on with four but I'll, I'll spend a bit of time on it and see how we get on but yeah thank you thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for liking thank you for commenting um thank you to joe and john and and everyone else and Bert and everyone who sends me comments on a regular basis and, and the banter backwards and forwards I really appreciate it so yeah it's done it's it's hard they're hard races the last one was was not hard at all I mean a 30 second lead is absolutely ridiculous but yeah it's hard so yeah thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart I really appreciate it and yeah I will see you for the first endurance race in probably about a week we'll see I'll try and get one out for next weekend so Thank you, take care, and fingers crossed, I will see you next time. Stay safe. Peace. <laughs>